don't get nervous in front of the press. <laughs> when you won all those medals, you weren't nervous. No. You. No. you were so focused on winning, right? Yes. yes. I know that. Well, I want to thank you all for being here. This is uh, special for me and special for the First Lady because this is the Special Olympics. And I have to say, Vice President Pence and Karen Pence have been so involved. And uh, because she does such a good job with so many things, I've asked Karen Pence to represent our government and our country on Special Olympics. And we have a lot of the great champions here. We have uh, some of the winners they won, and they came in a couple seconds and a couple of thirds, but uh, a lot of first places. And we did fantastically well in the Special Olympics. And I'd like to have Karen Pence say a few words. You have done a fantastic job, and we appreciate it. Well, thank you, Mr. President. Thank you for asking me to lead the delegation. This was probably the highest honor I will ever have as Second Lady. And you have here represented, you have representatives from Special Olympics, but you also have coaches here, you have unified athletes, and you have Special Olympics athletes here. And they represent several different sports, and we're just so proud of all of them. We've become close friends. I got to see them at the Winter Games, and then I got to see them again at the Summer Games. And it's so great to see the familiar faces. But one of the great things that I think the President needs to know about all of you is that you are such good representatives of our country. Mm -hmm. um, they have made friends with other athletes all over the world, and they stay in touch all the time. And you are really uh, adding to the diplomacy that the United States uh, has. You make us so proud, not just for your athletic prowess, uh, but for the way you represent our country and the way you reach out to other nations and other athletes. And it is such a privilege to be able to be here with all of you today. And I don't know if Mary Davis, the president, wondered if you could say a few words since you're the CEO of the Special Olympics. Sure, Mrs. Pence. Thank you so much for the opportunity, President. Thank and you. I know our athletes are absolutely thrilled to be here. <laughs> we create an environment every single day in Special Olympics so that our athletes can be the very best that they can be. And we also create an environment so that the rest of the world can understand their abilities and their courage and their strength and their determination and so that they will be more accepting and we can build a more inclusive community and world. Mm -hmm. And we were so fortunate to have the Games hosted in Abu Dhabi and the ambassadors here, I know, today. And they've just been incredibly supportive of our efforts. And, and, and so, have, so have you. And in doing this, you are all creating a more inclusive world for everybody. Mm -hmm. Thank you Thank for you Mrs. Pence being here. Uh, I've been at the World Games in Austria and also in Abu Dhabi. We just had a blast. We had a great time. She saw soccer. She saw bocce. Um, not golf, mind you, but uh, so all the other things. Uh, and it was a great experience. And you can see the faces of our athletes proudly wearing their medals, standing tall. And well, well, it's all through opportunity. That's so thank you for your support. Well, Mary, thank you. And you did a fantastic job. And it was a great success. Where's the ambassador? Where is the ambassador? Mr. Ambassador, you don't have to stand there. <laughs> Come close. Come on up. Uh, would you like to say a few words? You've done a fantastic job. Your country has, and uh, it was a great Special Olympics, and thank you very much. Thank you, sir. It was just really an honor to host it, and uh, these athletes represented the country very well. The UAE uh, not just was honored, it was happy, it was proud. The people in the country were actually joyful for the entire week that this was going on. We were worried that we weren't going to have enough volunteers. We ended up having 21,000 volunteers sign up for the event. So it's just a reflection of how well it was. Congratulations. Thank Say hello to all the folks. Thank you. Our friends, right? Great friends. Great friendship. Thank you very much. Well, I just want to congratulate everyone. I mean, what you've done is incredible. Bringing home all those medals. How did you feel about winning? How did you feel? I did good. Uh, I did five. Over five times what? Five times over. Whoa, that's not bad. Huh? I did, I did go, go, go place. Right. Very good. Thank but you. Mr. Very President, much. Jane was telling us beforehand. We were waiting in the Roosevelt Room. She was sharing that she was so excited that her dad and she both have the same color hair as you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pretty proud of that. Yeah.
I hope he has a beautiful head of hair like that. <laughs> I'll bet he has better. That my dad calls you a head. He likes the hair. That's very interesting. I'm going to have to think about that. <laughs> Thank you. Say hello to your dad, right? No, I'll tell you why. Go ahead. My dad died. Ooh. And my mom, too. When did your dad die? When's he home? Mm. That's too bad. Yeah. Mm. And my mom, too. And you loved them both, right? Yes. Mm, that's good. And they're proud of you, you know? They're looking down right now, because you're in the Oval Office. <laughs> this is the big thing, right? That's you're right. in the Oval Office, and they're looking down on you, and they see gold, right? That's gold. Yes. That's really something. And they're very proud of you, right? Thank you. So, congratulations, Tom. Thanks. Who would like to say? Would you like to say something? Anybody? On your great victory? Well, I think you should tell about your special accomplishment. Yeah, on uh, itself, we have a special issue today. We have 12 of here. We have a pretty total. We thank you for being here. It was a great group. Uh, it was an honor, a privilege to be here. Um, at my shot was okay. Um, it was a pretty forced shot at the end of the games. It was swish. It went viral. A million hits, but uh, yeah. enough about me. Um, <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, so thank you for the honor of being here. It was a once in a lifetime. So we appreciate all you do for special event. Thank you. Say thank you. Very That's proud great. of you. Thank you very much. That's great. That'd be really good. How about over here? Anybody want to say something about your great victory? I'm Delina. I'm a powerlifter, and I won gold mm -hmm. overall. You did. Well, 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 well. Nice. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> so how much, how much did you lift? I would say 120. Wow. I can't lift 120. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. That's thank great. you. I can see that. Well, thank you. Go ahead. I do track. I'm from Greensboro, North Carolina. <laughs> That's fantastic. I just left. I just left North Carolina. It's a great state. It's a great. They're great people. Great state. I just left. Just got back. I got back late last night from North Carolina. Oh, it was okay. Right? right? Good, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll see you on TV. You saw me on TV? Did yes, you like I it? Did. Yeah. Did you like See? That's good. I did. Well, that was good. I, I, didn't, I didn't pay for that. <laughs> I, I, didn't, I didn't pay for that, John. Well, listen, just on behalf of uh, Karen Pence, Mike Pence, our Vice President, uh, Melania, First Lady, uh, and everybody here, and Mary, I want to thank you for doing a fantastic job. Karen, I want to thank you for doing an incredible job. You work so well. Well, thank you, Mr. President, for restoring funding for Special yeah. Olympics. We are mm -hmm. very, very grateful. Yeah. Thank you so Mr. President, Mr. President, excuse me. Yeah, um, Mr. President, we have a shirt um, I'd like to give you. If Mr. Vice President, oh, I have a shirt I'd like to give you. Um, no, yep. no, the, she has it. Yes, yes, I have yours. Sorry. We all signed it. Uh, talking about it. Wow. So it's the same thing. The other way. So. Yeah, other way. Yeah. Yeah. So. All signed. Thank you. Yeah, so thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. All thank you. All of us. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. No problem. No problem. <laughs> yes. Hey, Mr. President, if I may, when your supporters last night were chanting, chanting, send her back, why didn't you stop them? Why didn't you ask them to stop saying that? Well, number one, I, I think I did. I started speaking very quickly. It, it really was a loud, I disagree with it, by the way, but it was quite a chant. And uh, I felt a little bit badly about it. But I will say this, uh, I did, and I started speaking very quickly. But it started up rather, rather fast, as you probably know. So, so you'll tell your supporters never to well, say I, that again? Well, I would say that. I, that, that is I was not happy with it. Uh, I disagree with it. Uh, but again, I didn't say, I didn't say that they did. But I disagree but, with it. But they were echoing what you said in your first tweet, that they should go back. Well, I don't think if you examine it, I don't think you'll find that. But I disagree with it. Anybody else? Why did you decline the NAACP's invitation to be part of the presidential forum next Because week? we had a date set, and then they wanted to change the date, and they wanted to do it in the form of an interview. I had agreed to make a speech. <coughs> I would have loved to have made a speech to the NAACP. Uh, we have, as you know, record 
unemployment numbers, the lowest in the history of our country. We have uh, the poverty numbers. It's a poverty scale, and the African Americans doing the best that they've ever done in the history of our country. We have something to be very proud of. I mean, really proud of. Uh, I was going over with Mike before some of the numbers having to do with the African American community. It's the best numbers we've ever had. I very much wanted to go, but we had a date. The date got changed, and unfortunately, they wanted to do it in the form of a question and answer. I think you were going to be possibly the person asking I am the, the question. And yeah, I mean, so maybe you could answer the question better than me. Yes, go ahead. Mr. Please. President, will you appoint Senator Rand Paul as your emissary to Iran as, as it was reported? No, I don't know anything about that other than I have spoken to Senator Paul. And Senator Paul is somebody I have a very good relationship with. Uh, and I would listen to him, but I didn't appoint him, no. When did this come up? Uh, yesterday, or the day yeah. before. No, he's somebody that I listen to. I respect Senator Paul. Uh, and if he had some ideas, I'd listen. I will say that Iran is a much different country right now. When I took over and Mike and I came into uh, office, uh, Iran was uh, the scourge of the world. They were doing 14 different sites of confliction. They were fighting and uh, causing problems in Yemen and Syria and Iraq and all over. It's a much different country right now. You look at what's happening. You look at them pulling back. And they're not pulling back because they love us. They're pulling back because they don't have money. They're being hurt very badly by sanctions. And I hope that doesn't happen for long because I hope they're able to straighten out. It can happen very quickly. But if you look at the original President Obama deal, it was a disaster from many standpoints, but almost most importantly because it was going to be ending very shortly. You know, it's a very short-term deal. You can't have a short-term deal for a country. You need a hundred-year deal. You don't need a short-term. In a few years, literally in a few years, they would be on their way to a nuclear weapon. That's unacceptable. Plus, they can't do ballistic missiles, and the deal allows them to do ballistic missiles. And we have to look at other sites. The best, the most important sites, we were not allowed to go in and look at. What kind of a deal is that? And other things, and many other things. So Iran is not the same country. They have inflation now at 75 uh, percent. They're having tremendous problems within the country. They're selling very little oil. We have an embargo. We have a, a stop on oil. Uh, even the European countries are now agreeing with me. You see, they're coming over, and they're coming over very strong. It's very sad what happened to Iran. All we want to do is have a fair deal. The deal that was made was a bad deal. It was not approved by Congress. A lot of problems with the deal that was made. And we can do something quickly or we can take our time. I'm in no rush. I'm in no rush. Are you concerned that this report is tempting, you know, Senator Bach, Rupert, Senator Barr, or these other defendants being in danger? Well, I have tremendous support. And I wasn't happy with that message that they gave last night, but that was a packed arena. We could have sold an arena. We could have sold 10 of those arenas last night. There were tremendous numbers of people that couldn't get in. We had outside thousands and thousands of people, and we had thousands and thousands of people that wanted to come, and we said, please don't come. It held 10,000 people. It was packed. We could have sold that arena 10 times. Uh, there's tremendous support for the Republican Party. There's tremendous support for this team for the President, for the Vice President. We have tremendous support, maybe like nobody's seen in a long time. There's great energy. I say there's far more energy on the right than there is on the left. I mean, I hear about the left. All I see is the left is fighting all over the place. I think we have far more support than they do, and I think we have far more energy than they do. And we're going to have a very interesting election. But I was not happy when I heard that chant. Thank you, everybody. Thank President, you very much, everybody. But, 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 Mr. President, why did they do it? Why did they do it? You'd have to ask them. You'd have to ask them, Joe. What I would suggest as to — I was not happy with it, but what I would suggest, uh, you go there, and go to North Carolina, and you ask the people, why did they say that? But that's what they said. But that's you'll stop them if they try to do it again. Well, I didn't like that they did it, and I started speaking very quickly. I could have — I could have stood play back. out for several seconds. Yeah. Well, really? Uh, if you would have heard, there was a tremendous amount of uh, noise and action and everything else. I started very quickly, and I, I think you know that. Well, I know. You, maybe you're giving me too much credit. You're used to giving me too much credit. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Stop the next time. Please stop the next time. Yeah, I, would, I, would I, would try. I would try. I would certainly try. Yeah. Thank you. 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 Thank
Uh, president Obama added more debt than every president put together. So you're talking about a debt ceiling. President Obama added $10 trillion during his eight years. He doubled the debt. He added more debt than every president, every single president put together. President Obama uh, doubled, more than doubled the debt. So we're talking about a debt ceiling. The previous president doubled the debt. And that's what we get stuck with. That's the way it is, folks. Thank you very much. Thank you.